What's up guys, Jace Two Cents here. We're gonna do a video that I've never done before that I've kind of wanted to for a long time, but it's something that I could never do by myself. Well, considering the fact that Philin is, Philin, Phil, that's the, the villain Phil is villain, or Philin. Because Phil is also a gaming enthusiast as much as I am and as much of a nerd about all these things, I figured he is the perfect test case to test against, if that makes sense. To kind of, I don't wanna say sanity check because both of us are crazy, but what we are going to be doing today and if I show this, Phil should get the idea of what's happening pretty quickly. Are you ready? Ah, <laughs> okay. These are stuck together. I didn't really think that through very well. Where did you get a printer? That's my- I have a printer at home, but then I forgot to print the 144 hertz one, so there's my handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to see whether or not you can actually physically feel the difference between these resolutions. You mean refresh rates? Yeah. The resolution is the same in all of them. <laughs> Building upon their highly popular H-series cases, the new H210i, 510i, 510 Elite, and 710i from NZXT offer a sleek yet functional chassis for PC enthusiasts. Ample interior space and airflow make the H-series the perfect choice for both air cooling as well as water cooling, while the intelligent features offer integrated temperature monitoring and lighting control seamlessly. To learn more about the H-series chassis from NZXT for your next build, head to nzxt.com. So we're gonna have Phil go first, because here's the thing. <sighs> This is already a seriously subjective topic. Not everyone can feel and or see the difference. And the reason why I'm saying feel is because you can probably visually see that there's a difference in these resolutions, a difference in these refresh rates if you're not playing the game. But the moment you're playing, the refresh rate usually has to kind of get in tune with your own reaction times and stuff, which is why pro gamers want such high refresh rates, especially CSGO and stuff like that. So we're just using Battlefield 4's test uh, range here because it's consistent. We're also using Battlefield 4 because we can change the refresh rate on the fly in the game. There's gonna be a lot of questions in this. Well, what about input lag and, and this and that? We don't have the ability to truly test like the input lag testing like Linus sort of did. We are just going through the visual acuity here of refresh rate. I, my hypothesis here moving into this, and it's funny that we're doing this and talking about hypothesis and the scientific method. I just spent the last two weeks doing the science fair with my, young, my oldest daughter. And so we've, what's our practical application? <laughs> what's our problem? Drill a hole in a computer and then make your graphics card colder. <laughs> Obviously from there to there is extremely obvious, but I think you're gonna have a hard time determining here to here. And I think you're gonna have a harder time determining here to here. I honestly think these 15 FPS that you get right here are the biggest jump. I am going to, without you looking, I'm gonna change the refresh rate in the game. You have to start, and then the first test is gonna be, can you hone in on what FPS we're starting at? I will then adjust it, and we will go from there. But I'm not gonna tell you, obviously, where we're starting, and I'm not gonna tell you where we're going. I may try and fool you. I may try and I may run the same FPS back to back, especially since I know you and I both are pretty FPS snobs when it comes to Hertz ratings. And I've always told people I'm extremely sensitive to the difference. Some people are like, I tell you right now, my wife would not know the difference between 60 and 144. She did not see the difference between 720p and 1080. 4K looks like 1080 to her. Transition. All right, so test one. What we're doing is we're changing the resolution in the desktop because the refresh rate. <laughs> He keeps saying resolution. <laughs> we, uh, I set the resolution. <laughs> Can we go home? And the game is not seeing the custom resolutions I made. In order to make us. <laughs> this and this are almost designed to just fool you. I'll give you 30 seconds. Okay. And go. Just move around, shoot, do whatever you want. Try and figure out the resolution or the refresh rate. I'll say, I think it's one of these. I don't think it's 144 because I think 144 is like really, really smooth. So that is out. I'm thinking it feels a little faster than 100 hertz. So the thing Jay doesn't know is that I switched from a 100 hertz monitor to a 120 hertz monitor recently. So I know the difference between that pretty well, but I'm gonna go with 120 hertz. I might be wrong on that, but that's my guess. 75. Wow. <laughs> They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would- What if it happens to you, dude? I'm expecting it to happen to me. We're just gonna be buying 75 hertz monitors anyway. Oh my God. Test two. 
<laughs> I don't even know what to think anymore, guys, because it's like, I already got my mind completely blown. So it's like, now I'm just like, I don't even know anymore. I'm gonna go with 120 again. 120, you ready? I'll tap. 100. Okay, so I'm getting I'm getting closer than that. 100 to 120 is pretty pretty hard to tell. <laughs> oh god. Uh Oh god, this is slow for sure. This is definitely it's like let's move nah. But is it is it actually slow or is it 70 if it's 75 this it's 75, 75 just because, because I already know that 75 75 feels faster than this because I, that was what I got wrong last time. So on the camera, it's gonna smooth it all to 30. It's gonna look the Honestly, same to all of you, yeah. but in person, it's gonna be much, much different. I wanna say 50 though, cause this does feel really, really slow. So okay. maybe Shows 50? 60. Ah, oh, dang it. I'm happy honestly that I'm in the general vicinity of the Hertz thing, but like, yeah, this is really blowing my mind right now. This is awesome. Honestly, I like being wrong. I like being proved wrong about this sort of stuff and it, it just opens your mind up. All right, this is definitely faster than, <laughs> this is faster than back then. But if that was 60 Hertz and this feels faster than that, I'm gonna go with 75 Hertz. I'll tap. 100. <laughs> So you're over for 4. I did just say that I like being proved wrong, right? But like, um, can I get one right, please? This feels like a visual version of like, um, some testing a musician's perfect pitch or something, mm -hmm. right? Where it's like, because you have choice. Can you tell what frequency you're listening to? Yeah, exactly. I don't even know anymore, man. <laughs> Is it, frames are just like, <laughs> oh, my eyes. I want to say 120 hertz again. Yep. Yeah, I want to say 120 hertz again. Let's do that. Okay. And I'll tap and oh my God, it's right there. It was the same resolution back to back and you yeah. chose two different numbers. All right, so this is J run one. Of course he tries to shoot down the thing. Got it. Yes. All right. Uh, I'm going with 120. Yay. 120. Wow. Okay. Jay knows his frame rate, dude. That's just one. This one's a little tougher. I gotta go with 60 on this one. 75. It it's really, funny because that was, my first was my, that was my first thought, but 75 feels way slower because I just came from 120. It, it really messes with you. I think the interesting thing about what's happening here is that we thought the high end would be hard to tell, but it's really the middle. <laughs> Damn, I had, 75 was my, I, like the first five seconds I was ready to be like, call, call it 75. Yes. I can't see the ah, the body's it's falling on me. Ah! All right. I really want to go with 60 on this one. I really want to go with 60 on that one. 50. Dang, I thought that I I thought for sure that was 60 because it didn't feel that much slower than the 75. How much is my brain screwing with me though? Keep I'm gonna call that brain. one already at 144. Yay! Yay! Nice work. It's okay, I can still beat his Beat Saber scores. <laughs> I've never even played Beat Saber. I, don't, I want to witness that, but I also don't want all the furniture to break. All right, what kind of tomfoolery is he going to try and pull? I mean, I'm setting a timer, but Jay doesn't seem to need it. 120. I hate you. I think what we're fighting out, guys, is that these three buy a monitor in this range. <laughs> yeah, there's other aspects to this, like um, 240 hertz monitors, right? Oh yeah. Because yeah. that's gonna be designed specifically for like eSports gaming. And they've and companies that make that like ViewSonic, we've, in fact, we've got a ViewSonic video coming up. Um, this isn't sponsored by Asus or any other brand. This was just a test I wanted to do. That's specifically for like eSports gaming, CSGO, stuff where the FPS is necessary because of the input refresh rate of the, of the input devices, the mouse and keyboard. Mm -hmm. You have to have the high refresh rates in order to have those inputs actually be registered on screen in time. So, that's completely different. Like, I don't think I could even tell the difference, quite honestly, between 144 and 240. And I have actually used a couple 240 hertz panels, and yeah, and I was like, this would not be worth it for me, because, you know, like, that's it. I can't tell. Obviously, I can't even tell. <laughs> Anything above 75 seems to be a watch for me. I've always said, and, and, and you can find other videos where I've said this in the past, um, 100 hertz is the sweet spot. If you want a high refresh rate gaming experience, 60 to 100 is a bigger jump than 100 nut. I've said that a million times. And then 120 to 144, you're not gonna notice it. Like I just didn't. Yeah. It felt exactly the same to me. What's funny though is, is one of the things I did to test was the quick movement. To me, it felt like there was a slight amount of, of I don't wanna say stutter, but a slight amount of 
flicker? Because it's the flicker that, you're, that I'm in tune to. Yeah, that's what I was doing, was I was doing a slow but constant mass movement and then kind of like looking at how many images which, that can I right. see, right? You know. And I'm sensitive to that, which is why if, and you'll know you're sensitive to it too if you're FPS sensitive, if you've ever looked at, at night at the tail lights of a new Cadillac. And if you see an LED skip across your screen, you're sensitive to it. Your it screen? Means, literally, <laughs> your, your screen and your vision. If you see that, you are sensitive like I am to FPS and you will notice the difference. Honestly, I think, you know, if you're shopping for a high refresh rate monitor, it would be a really good idea to test it yourself. You know what I mean? Find somebody, find, find a friend or something that knows that has, you know, 144, 120 hertz monitor. If you've got a Fry's Electronics nearby, yeah. um, they tend to have a lot of these panels on display on like end caps. Or stuff. micro center. Uh, yeah, if you have a micro center nearby too. Um, and you can go into the desktop and change the refresh rates yourself. I did that before. So the very first high refresh rate monitor I bought, I went from a 60 Hertz Acer 1080p panel to a the VG248Q. Oh yeah, VG, right? yeah, yeah, which is a very famous. Which is a very awesome famous TN you. high refresh rate panel. Um, and the problem was I had never experienced it before until I went to Fry's, saw it on display, and then started messing with it, and I was like, holy crap. Yeah. But as soon as I experienced 144 for the first time, I never could go back. Mm -hmm. um, but I think right now, and I lived for about three, almost three years on 100 hertz with that Predator. Yeah. And that's why right now I've gone from the 100 hertz Predator now to my new, um, what is it, the LG, LG. GK950F, yeah. Yeah. which is a 144. I cannot tell the difference between these two, <laughs> right? period. Between so, the Predator and the And so that's what I was getting at was that like, like test out how good you are at, um, you know, picking out refresh rates and honestly just buy the just buy the best monitor that you know has the highest hertz that you can tell because obviously you're wasting money if you, if you can't tell anything above 100 hertz why why spend extra for a 144 hertz ultra wide when unless it has features you're missing now exactly. like some sort of free sync g-sync or adaptive sync yeah, whatever like so i think one of the great ways to contribute to this video in the comment section down below is to run this test yourself if you have a high refresh rate panel then start playing with it and see whether or not you can even tell the difference so, especially amongst these other triple digit numbers. So anyway, this was just a video concept I came up with at the last second. Um, I was like, what are we gonna shoot today? And I, I was like, I know. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, um, I think we both were shocked. I was two for five, you were 0 for five. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> those ones suck. Hey, I paid, I, I paid for that paper. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. All right guys, as always, thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one.